In 2050, the world would need to produce up to twice as much food as it does now. By that time, the human population will have grown to 9 billion. Meat consumption will increase, especially in emerging markets like China, India and Brazil. More animals means more feed. And in a bio-based economy, biomass is the source of energy and raw materials. Climate change doesn't make things easier. Droughts, floods, pests and diseases will destroy harvests. So the question is, how do we increase food production through sustainable intensification? Every agricultural zone, whether it's used for livestock or crop production, has a theoretical maximum yield. Take Ghana for instance. Solar energy, 19 megajoules per square meter per day. Temperature, 28 degrees. Carbon dioxide, 390 parts per million. Main crop, maize. With this data, we can calculate a potential yield of 8 tons of maize per hectare per harvest. Yet, the actual yield is a mere 1.5 tons per hectare. This is mainly because soils in Ghana have a low fertility and farmers lack finances for fertilization. Pests, weeds and diseases may further reduce harvests. And so Ghana is left with a huge yield gap. Together with the University of Nebraska and many local partners, Wageningen University and Research Center is trying to create global maps for all crop and livestock regions containing the yield defining factors, the limiting factors and the reducing factors. All this data is collected in the Yield Gap Atlas and the Benchmarking Atlas. We analyze the most promising options for sustainable intensification per region and pinpoint major constraints. And we don't stop at lack of water or feed but we try to identify the underlying causes, such as failing infrastructure, education, or poor market access conditions. The Atlas incorporates the whole chain of production, from crop cultivation to post-harvest losses. Sustainability is the key. The question is not, how do we close the yield gap, but how do we increase production without negative trade-offs for the environment or biodiversity? All this information is needed for targeted investments, interventions and policies that help feed the planet. For more information on mapping for sustainable intensification, go to www.wageningenur.nl slash basis or www.yieldgap.org.